welcome to part two of my multi-part series on how to set up LSPDFR 0.4. Yesterday's video, we went over the very essentials, how to install 0.4 onto a Queen GTA 5. Today, we're gonna go into more depth. We are going to be showing you how to install real car models, how to install a trainer, the EOS system, which is the emergency lighting system, as well as a real weapon into the game. So to start it off, you wanna go ahead and download script hook V. This is gonna allow you to run different scripts into your game. It's very essential that you have it, especially to run trainers. I've already downloaded all these files and all these links are gonna be found in the description below if you need a direct link. Of course, you can pause the video at any time if you need to catch up. So go ahead, open script hook V and get into your directory. So this is very simple. Once again, it's gonna be drag and drop in there. So hit the bin. Uh, you don't even have to put the native trainer in there. It's just a simple basic trainer that shows you how it works. So go ahead, drag and drop into your directory and you're done with that. Script hook V installed. The next program you're wanna, gonna wanna get is Open4. So Open4 is the program I use to allow us to change models and inject mods into GTA 5. So go ahead, download that. And once you download that, you wanna open it. So I'm gonna open this and it's really simple to start it off. We're opening G Grand Theft Auto 5 for Windows. You might ask for a directory let it let it do its thing all right once that's open you're gonna see your own directory so all of these are different files within your grand theft auto 5 directory and these are sub things their models are a whole bunch of things don't worry too much about it at the moment go ahead and click edit mode you're gonna get a prompt hit yes uh, so this is important install plugin you need to install asi loader and open 4.asi plugin for gta 5 Otherwise, the game will not load modify, modified RPF archive. So hit ASI manager. And what we're gonna do is see what's installed. So we have that installed. We want uh, this installed. And then we want open camera. I like it. You don't have to do it. It just changes the boundaries and the Rockstar editor lets you get further away shots for screenshots. That's what I use it for. So after that is done, open four is complete. Next thing we're gonna do is install Simple Trainer. Simple Trainer lets you teleport around the map, change different settings within the games, spawn cars. So this is very important for your game. So go ahead, download that. And once it's downloaded, go ahead, open it. This is once again, very simple, gonna be a drag and drop operation. So we're just gonna grab these front, these uh, top two and drag and drop. Now I wanna go ahead and change some settings in here. You don't have to do this. This is my preference. Uh, by default, I believe key bindings are on. So I'm gonna control F key to find key bindings. And I wanna turn key bindings off. Okay, so if you wanna change this for the key bindings disabled, you wanna change that to one, that will change it off. Also, if you go up about 10 lines, I'm gonna turn speed on because I like the speedometer on and that's all I'm gonna change for now. So you wanna save that so it saves and simple as that, simple trainer is installed. Next up is emergency lighting system. This allows your vehicle to go through the different stages of lighting for your custom police cars. So go ahead, download this and upload it. Once again, drag and drop. A lot of this is gonna be drag and drop. So installation files, Grand Theft Auto 5. These are the, the files that your game needs. So go ahead, open your directory and you just want to copy all this and drag it in there. So it's gonna bring all these files in there. And after that, EOS is done. Now it's time to install a custom police car. You don't wanna play with those default police cars you want real life police cars into your game. This is just an example pack. Of course, the link will be in the description. It's by Kilroy95, this is Blaine County Sheriff pack. We're gonna be editing some of these files. So go ahead, download that. And once that is downloaded, pop that open. And this is where we're going to need open for. So I'm gonna to go to my desktop, get us a little space here. 
So here are his different vehicles. So depending on what you want to install, I'm going to do the CVPI. So what we're going to want to do before we install any mods is put files in the mods folder. So we're going to copy two of our folders into the mods folder. This is going to allow us to edit the files within that folder without affecting the original files. It sounds kind of confusing, but uh, it's easier uh, that I show you. So go ahead, just copy both of these files, go to your mods folder and paste. This is so if you mess something up and as a last resort, your game's not loading, you could actually delete your mods folder and you could start from scratch and your game should start up again. So this is going to take a while. It's a lot of files. Let this copy and paste over. Once that's completed, anytime you edit something, you want to go into the mods folder. So for example, if you are going to update something and update.rpf, instead of doing that, you're going to go to mods, update, update.rpf. So for these particular vehicles, these are found within patch day three. So we're going to head over there into dlc.rpf, common, data, x64 levels gta5 vehicles.rpf make sure edit mode is on from here you can actually create a bookmark if you want you can add a favorite so you can find this location quickly if you type in sheriff you will see uh, the current sheriff vehicles so if you click on the dot what is that yft you can see the current vehicle so from here we're going to drag and drop so this one actually does not have a sheriff plus h which is there this is uh some type of texture we're gonna delete that and we're gonna copy and paste these over and that's gonna override it and the sheriff.xml that is gonna go within your eos folder so go to back to your directory eos folder pack default and uh from here you can drag and drop this so that will put the lighting in there so if we click on sheriff.yft now you can see the new vehicle pretty cool another thing you're wanting you're gonna want to do is go to the vehicles meta file and this can be found in mods update update.rpf common data levels gta5 and if you want to go ahead drag and drop to your desktop and open it this are going to include some vehicle information. So if you control F sheriff, you can find the sheriff vehicle. Some of the vehicles, they're going to have tint settings that can kind of mess with the mods. So you want to make sure diffuse tint is this value. So it's zero times zero zero F F F F F F. I believe it's by this for default, but not all police vehicles have that. So from there, uh, the police vehicle should be in. We're going to do a couple other ones. It's going to be the same procedure. The last thing I'm going to show you how to change is the max pain Glock. This is going to replace the pistol. So what we're going to do is go ahead, download that, and we're going to open that file. You're going to go back to your open four. Now we're going to install the Glock. So go ahead, go into edit mode and open four. So this mod is a little outdated in the instructions. Instead of patch day three, we want patch day eight. Go to your mods folder, update x64 DLC packs. Go all the way down to patch day eight, dlc.rpf, x64, models, CD images, weapons.rpf. So everything in here in the patch day three, you're just gonna copy and paste over. The other one is gonna be within our mods folder. We're gonna go to update, update.rpf, x64, patch, data, CD images, scale form, generic.rpf. And there should be a HUD in here if we search HUD. Yep, HUD.YTD, it wants us to replace that, so we're gonna do that. All right, so that's everything installed. We're gonna go ahead, boot up the game, and check out what we got. We've got LSPDFR loaded up. We're gonna check out the cop car we installed. So Simple Trainer by default works off of F3, so hit that. Go to Vehicle Spawning, Emergency, go to Sheriff Cruiser. There is the car we just installed into the game 
Let's check it out and see if we can get the EOS lighting to work. By default, it's J, so J is going to be stage one, which is nothing on this car. Stage two and stage three. You can see the lighting looks really dull, really hard to see. This is because by default, GTA 5 does not have really bright police lights. We're going to cover how to make those brighter in the next episode, but everything we installed seems to be working we're gonna make sure the pistol is working as well last thing we're gonna check is a pistol so open your menu here and go to weapons we are going to hit the pistol and you can see we've got the glock from max Payne. you can test it out here we're just gonna fire also has a cool little reload animation Hopefully this helped you out. We're gonna continue this series. Next time we'll probably do an EMB as well as make the police lights brighter and maybe a few other things. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Catch you guys on the next video.